Hi fellow crafters! A couple of weeks ago I showed you how to create an impressive Christmas card idea. One that was very easy to make multiples of. I got a great response from that video and a lot of requests for additional easy Christmas card ideas. So today's video is for you. I'm going to show you how to make a very simple but beautiful Christmas card idea. This one has an easy fun fold to it. Shall we get started? If this is the first time you're visiting my YouTube channel, hi there, I'm Terry from nutsaboutstamping.com. I love sharing project ideas for rubber stamping, paper crafting, and scrapbooking with you each week. Be sure to hit that red subscribe button and the bell beside it so that you'll be the first to be notified when my next video goes live. And if you don't have a Stampin' Up! demonstrator yet, I would love for you to choose me. I will link to my online stores in the description box under this video. Now, let's get going on this easy fun fold. When choosing a designer series paper pattern for this card, watch out for directionality and be sure that both sides of the design will coordinate well. Many of the color schemes and tree images in the Walk in the Forest designer series paper pack make this paper a natural fit for winter crafting. You can use it to accent your holiday cards, which we're going to be doing here today, but you can also use this paper for gift tags. But again, I want to caution you, when you choose the design, make sure that both sides coordinate well. I want to start off by making a couple of elements that I'm going to use on my fun fold card idea. And I'm going to start off by creating a phrase using the brightest glow stamp set. Love this stamp set because you've got phrases for the outside of the card and you've got phrases for the inside of the card. So it does double duty for the holiday season. I've chosen the Merry Christmas image and I'm going to ink it and stamp it down using Pretty Peacock. I particularly like the font of this phrase, especially for the holiday season. Now I'm going to use my something fancy dies and I've chosen this die and I'm going to die cut it out. The next thing I want to do is take a strip of balmy blue cardstock. I went completely blank there for a second. And I want to emboss that strip using one of the 3D, the Basics 3D embossing folders. This one looks like it has a little bit of like a snowflake image in it, which will be perfect for matching up with the A Walk in the Forest designer series paper. So I'll go ahead and I'll emboss this strip and I'll be back in a moment. Okay, I've got those two elements ready for the front of my card and now it's time to make the fun fold. My card base is also going to be balmy blue and I have it ready to go. What I want to do to make the fun fold, which makes this so perfectly easy, is I want to score it at the four and a quarter mark. So four and a quarter, take the scoring blade on your paper trimmer and score it, and that's it. It's a simple, easy fun fold. Once you have your card base all ready to go, you wanna take your bone folder and you wanna burnish the score line so that this fold stays shut. Now, the next thing we're going to do is we're going to take a strip of the Walk in the Forest Designer Series paper and we're going to use it on the front of the card, but then when we open it up, you can see that there is this corresponding pattern on the inside, which is why I said initially, be careful about the designs that you choose because you're going to see both sides on this designer series paper. So what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna take my multi-purpose liquid glue and I'm going to run some glue down just on the edge of this fun fold and then I'm going to adhere this designer series paper down on top like that. Now the next thing I want to do is take this embossed layer and I want to add it to the left side of my card and I'm going to adhere it down also using multi-purpose liquid glue. Now I am all about contrast, so the next thing I want to do is add this little strip of Pretty Peacock to the front of the card as well. I just like how it pulls the balmy blue and the Pretty Peacock together. 
The next thing I want to do is attach my phrase to the front of the card, and I'm going to do that using a couple of Stampin' Dimensionals. And I think I'll put the phrase towards the bottom, but still in a prominent spot. It's looking beautiful. Would you like to see another Christmas card idea? Then why not watch this video next? Now the final thing I want to do is use some of the adhesive back gems to add a little bit of sparkling detail to the card. And there we go. I have a beautiful and very easy Christmas card idea that I am very happy to send to my friends and family this year. Would you like to see more easy Christmas card ideas? If you would, then simply comment, easy please, in the comment section under this video. And if you would like a complete listing of the supplies that I used and the measurements for the layers, as well as the product ordering numbers, in case you want to make this card at home as well, I will link to my blog article in the description box under this video. I'm Terry. I am nuts about stamping. I'll see you at the next video. Bye for now.